It's not how fast you drive. It's how long you stop. The average field efficiency of the modern sprayer is about 25%, and this number was shocking to me when I first learned about it. Today's complex mixes and high water volumes have stolen the efficiency from sprayers. The cost of operating a sprayer at that low of an efficiency is great. Agco said if you can have a 20% improvement, it lowers the cost of operation by 80 cents per acre. We have a producer that uses a mix mate, and they have seen a 50% improvement in their productivity in the field. We have a number of customers who are operating at a 50% efficiency. This means they do twice as many acres per engine hour as the average sprayer does. The overhead costs are the same, whether it's being operated efficiently or not. The customer that says they have a 50% increase in productivity is a dramatic change. Basically, it would be going from a 25% for the average sprayer, 25% uh, field efficiency up to 37%. When AGCO said you could save 80 cents an acre, they were only talking about a 20% boost. In other words, going from 25% to 31% field efficiency. The customer that's achieving that 50% improvement in their productivity could be operating three sprayers, but now they only need two. Operating two sprayers instead of three makes life simpler. You've got lower overhead costs, you've got fewer trucks, you've got fewer people, you have fewer headaches. Of all the components that contribute to sprayer productivity, fast loading is the most important. Driving fast, bigger tank, larger boom, all contribute to productivity, but they don't contribute to field efficiency, which directly relates to your cost of operation. Getting that sprayer loaded quickly and back into the field so it's operating rather than sitting there idle is the big difference. If you're mixing in the field, MixMate can dramatically improve your loading times. It will improve your record keeping. And if it's taking too long at the plant to mix your hot loads, your sprayer still is setting in the field and inefficient. MixMate's designed for mobile or stationary mixing to speed up the mixing process, to do it accurately, and provide the record keeping automatically. MixMate's the only system that handles jugs efficiently. It's designed to measure directly from your jugs and to process them quickly. Dry products are easy to run through the MixMate system as well. This is our MixMate Fusion. We call it Fusion because it combines the best features of MixMate in one small compact unit. We can measure by flow with up to three bulk chemicals here on the side. We have our MixMate uh, inductor here for processing jugs and dry products. Let's take a closer look at the MixMate Fusion inductor. This is one of the favorite parts of our MixMate system. Our customers really enjoy the way we can handle jugs and make it speedy and clean. Our inductor is mounted on load cells so the products are measured by weight. There's a rinse channel around the edge of the inductor for water uh, to flow through to rinse the tank down. When emptying jugs, you can just pour them directly into the inductor. It's going to measure them by weight. You will see a bar graph on the touch screen that shows the products being measured as they are poured in. Empty jugs can be placed directly on a rinse nozzle for cleaning. When you have a full or partial jug, it can be placed on this rinse nozzle as well. This lever tells the computer that you want to rinse this jug and empty it. The first thing it does is it injects air into the jug and empties a full jug in about two seconds. When the jug is empty, the system captures the weight of the chemical that is emptied, and then it proceeds directly to the rinse process. So it turns the water on to rinse the jug. There is also air flowing in with that water to make a very effective rinse. While the jug is being rinsed, the inductor is also being drained so that multiple jugs can be poured quickly without filling the inductor. Once the product has been completely added, the tank is rinsed down as well. Dry products can be handled very easily in the MixMate Fusion inductor. It would start out with a pre-fill of water and the dry product would be added to this and measured by weight. 
A second mode that can be used is a continuous mode where about 25 gallons per minute of water flows through the tank rinse system. Continuously moving water through the inductor and out to your sprayer gives a great way to handle these dry flowable products. So products like ammonium sulfate where it comes in 51 pound bags or products that come in jugs can be poured through and go through continuously. A button on the touch screen increments the count for each one of these products that has been added to the mix. When all of the product has been added, it goes into a rinsing mode to rinse the tank down. Our patented jug process in our mix main inductor gives speed and accuracy that is not available in any other system. Let's take a closer look at this side of the MixMate Fusion. This is where the name comes from. We're measuring by weight in our inductor, and here on this side, we can connect bulk products and measure them with a gear type flow meter. This meter comes pre-calibrated from the factory and is rated at a plus or minus one half percent error. We can use it with multiple products without recalibration and it comes calibrated from the factory. We can connect three bulk inputs to these valves. The top valve is reserved for water. So a product would be measured into the mix and the manifold would be rinsed with water and so on, it would step into the next product. There's a filter ahead of the gear meter to protect it from foreign objects. This valve at the bottom of the flow stack regulates the amount of chemical that flows through into the main line. This manifold runs crossways under the back of the mixed meat fusion. It also is seen at the bottom of the flow stacks. This is our mixed meat flow double stack. As you can see, we have two sets of valves mounted on this frame. The bottom three valves in each stack are set up to pull chemicals directly from totes. It uses a 200 flange, so hoses from one inch to two inches can easily be connected. The top valve is reserved for water. Water is used to rinse the manifold in between chemicals as they were pumped through. The gear meter is factory calibrated and does not need any additional calibrations. It works well across a variety of chemicals without being recalibrated. The error rating of the gear meter is plus or minus one half percent. All the water that's going to the sprayer passes through this manifold, through the transfer pump and out to the sprayer. The system uses the suction from the transfer pump to pull the chemicals in through these valves. No additional pumps are required in that type of configuration. This can also be configured with just a single stack for three bulk inputs. And there is a variation of this system with eight valves above each meter that we call the super stack. It has 14 bulk inputs and is a good fit for aerial applicators that have to track many products from many different suppliers. The flow stack works well with fusion and pro inductors to give additional bulk chemical inputs. Multiple stacks can be connected to any system. Each meter and valve in the system will be working simultaneously so multiple products can be measured at one time. This gives the MixMate system additional speed since multiple things can happen at the same time. A MixMate flow stack or double stack is a good way to get started with the MixMate system. It's a low cost entry point and it can be used with any type of inductor. Automated records and automated mixing with the flow stacks simplify chemical blending operations for sprayers and add additional speed and versatility. The MixMate app calculates all the products that are entered into a mix, not just the bulks. Any products that are manually added through a manual inductor can be added into the record so you have a complete set of records for your chemical blending operation. When a flow stack or flow double stack is used as a standalone mixing system, we can add the master controller and power box just to the back of the stack, which gives it an easy mounting place. When comparing MixMate to any other type of chemical blending system, you should compare the flow stack. Our MixMate inductors give features beyond the capabilities of any other system. The MixMate flow options is a better comparison to any other type. Multiple inductors have become popular lately, but those still take an operator to pre-batch everything in order to make things happen quickly when it's time to load. The MixMate Flow mixes in real time, on demand, as you need the products. 
A second operator is not needed to make mixing efficient. When evaluating a new chemical blending system, MixMate Flow compares very well to upper end and mid range manual mixing systems and is extremely competitive with any other automated system. Automated records and automated mixing make chemical blending go fast and easy. This is a MixMate Flow signal. The input consists of a 100 flange on the input strainer. It, this one uses a gear meter to measure the products and the regulating valve regulates the amount of chemical flowing into the main manifold line. The water from your main water tank flows through this manifold to the transfer pump and out to the sprayer. The transfer pump provides the suction to pull the chemicals through. This eliminates the need for additional 12 volt pumps and it also gives much more speed than the 12 volt pumps are capable of. Multiple flow singles are often used when speed is needed. All singles measure products simultaneously since they each have their own valve and flow meter to measure each product. This is our MixMate Pro inductor. It has an all stainless steel design and includes the features that make our MixMate Fusion so popular. The housing encases the inductor cone so outside influences do not affect the weight of the chemical being measured. So if an operator leans against the side or places a jug against the top, it does not affect the weight of the chemical in the hopper. Likewise, the lid is separate of the inductor cone. And so if something is placed on top of the lid while product is being measured, it does not affect the weight. The lid on the MixMate Pro gives additional functionality. The tab on the lid engages with a switch underneath the cover that triggers the software to step forward. So each time the lid is opened and closed, it triggers the software to go to the next step. Inside the inductor hopper, there's a tube welded around the perimeter with holes to rinse the hopper. It is very effective at cleaning that hopper. Under the hood, up to five valves can be placed to connect bulk products to be measured by weight. Each product would be measured one at a time, pumped into the inductor and weighed and pumped out into the spray mix. There are electrical connectors on the back to trigger electric pumps as part of this process. The Pro features the same patented jug rinsing process that the Fusion uses. When a jug is placed over the rinse nozzle, it triggers the computer to turn on the air. The air evacuates the chemical from the jug in about two seconds. When the jug is empty, the rinse water is turned on. Air and water are both used as part of the rinse process. It is extremely effective at cleaning jugs. While the jugs are rinsing, the hopper is also being emptied so that the hopper never fills up and many jugs can be dumped quickly. Let's take a quick look at the back of the Pro Inductor. It has connections for 12 volt DC pumps, up to five of them. These can also be used to control high voltage pumps such as a five or 10 horsepower electric pump. This connector is for expansion for external controls. You can have up to four uh, pumps or valves connected to that. Uh, typically that would be a wall mounted box that we have available uh, with automatic on and off positions on each switch. These five openings are for valves and bulk connections for bulk products. Uh, the system can pump bulk products into the inductor and weigh them individually and would use these 12 volt DC outputs to control and drive 12 volt DC pumps. Here at the bottom, we have power connections, 12 volt DC and our master power disconnect. There are two flow meter inputs that are typically used for your water in your mix and then CAN bus connections for external valves and flow meters and modules. This connection is the drain or the output of the uh, Pro Inductor. This is the water rinse and air input for the rinse system. Thank you for watching our video. You can learn more about MixMate through Praxidine.com, which there's a link in the description below. You can also get connected with the dealer and learn about pricing of the MixMate system through Praxidine.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the P icon in the corner of the screen. 
So let us help you make spraying fun again. Hey, hon, I'm going to be home early. I'm having a great day today. Let's throw some steaks on the grill and spend some time together.